Hello beer tubers and welcome to another beer review with me Peter the Master of Hobbits today looking at another Lambic, another Lindemann's Lambic, but this one isn't one of the not so authentic ones that are just super sweet. This is the real deal dudes. <laughs> I reviewed the Creek, Lindemann's Creek, which is just like, you know, fruity, tastes like fruit juice, same with the Cassis. Not bad beers in any way, but they're just not authentic Lambics. Lambics. But if you're familiar with Lambic brewing and sours and and what not, all that shit. <laughs> you probably know that they have this series called Cuvée Rémy. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but today I'm going to be looking at the Cuvée Rémy Gerus Alambic Grand Cru on 5.5%. Now these beers that they do are, you know, authentic Lambics in the sense that they do the whole spontaneous fermentation and they're actually sour. That's what a lot of the other fruit lambics I do miss. But yeah, without further ado, let's get this one cracked open. So there we have it, the Lindemann's Grusse Cuvée René. Grand Cru, <laughs> whatever it's called. Nice looking Grusse. Lots of carbonation, very effervescent, nice, very hazy, orange-ish color actually. One finger of a white head, let's check out the aroma on this bad boy. Yeah, well, that is really nice smelling <laughs> in a Lindemann's beer. I even believe that the, just the Lindemann Grusse I can't remember, it's been a while since I had it. It isn't sour either, really. It just tastes a lot like apples. Or maybe it's the pumpkin, which is an apple lambic. I'm not entirely sure, but this definitely smells more. Like, it was, you got the funk, the, the kind of hay, with hay barnyardy uh, quality to it. Not insane amount of funk, not insane amounts of sourness either. But they're definitely like a white wine vinegar character, white grapes, green apple, green apple skin. Yeah, that kind of almost peachy flavors, just uh, like pale stone fruits in general, but just toned down on this one. I feel it's more like the, a ton of apple compared to pale stone fruits, along with a, a little bit of funk and sourness, and that kind of white, white grape flavor. It smells quite nice and more, much more authentic than the other Lindemann's beers, but let's give this one a taste. Cheers, guys. Yeah, definitely much more authentic. Quite nice, but not the best Guza out there. Nowhere near as good as something like uh, Cantillon's Guza, or Drie Fontaine's uh, Eau de Guza, or Golden Blend, or Amanda, T Amanda Tommy, which is probably one of the best Guzas out there. Uh, there's a few good Guzas out there, really, but just to mention a few. But it's still quite, or you yeah, whatever. <laughs> but it's still quite nice. I'm definitely picking up right now on the back end here a lot of mostly funk. It's got a little bit of a cork flavor, a little that dusty kind of old cellar, a little bit of a woody flavor. I feel more like cork than woody. Very vinous, white wine like. It's on his face very quickly, leads into that dusty old flavor. The fruit flavors in there is just like green apple, white grape, touch of the pale stone fruits, and then very vinous white wine forward, like white wine vinegar too. But it's not the most sour. Um, Lambic. Actually, if you're getting into Lambics, I don't know if it'd be the best beginner Lambic, but I'd say it's, it's worth a go as a first, a, a, an authentic kind of Lambic with the sourness and all, because it's not as sour as some of the others you find out there. Some of that kind of hay, barnyardy flavors on the aftertaste as well, medium mouthfeel, dry, kind of like classic goosey flavors, but none of them are like really standing out and like they're not as oomphy as you get in some other uh, Guzzi Lambics. It's also got those, you know, bright fruit characters, like definitely lemon, lemon juice character to it. Rain wise, for the Lindemann's Cuvée René Guzzi Grand Cru, I think that's the entire name. I'm gonna go 83. It's a nice Guzzi, but it just doesn't go to the level of some of these other outstanding Guzzi Lambics that you can get out there, so but, I mean, again, it's a good place to start. So, guys, definitely let me know what you think of the Dingemann's Grusse Lambique, Cuvée René, Grusse Grand Cru, Grand Cru, in the title. <laughs> um, yeah, and as always, remember to come, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter, and uh, yeah, I want to say cheers. I'm going to see you guys in another video.